What's up, Vikings fans? This is your newly signed defensive tackle, Michael Pierce. I'm super, super excited to be a part of the organization, to be a part of the team, and I get to meet you guys in the community. But until that's possible, uh, we have some questions here that I can answer for you guys. I'll get to let you guys know me on a more personal level on how I think of myself on and off the field. So uh, we're going to get started. My first question is, what is your playing style like and what's your strongest skill set? So as a nose guard, as I see nose guards, even not myself, but everyone, uh, I think we should all think of ourselves as enforcers. So um, we are on the front lines along with the other defensive linemen. Uh, we're getting the tone started. Obviously, we are, you know, counting on heavily to stop the run and also get to the passer. But uh, first and foremost, we got to set the tone for the game, set the tone for how things are supposed to be played. So I'll definitely say I'm an enforcer in that aspect. Um, my strongest skill set would be my strength. So as a kid growing up, I was a huge, huge fan of the world's strongest man. So I got into weightlifting pretty early in life and um, it's carried me a long way. And if you haven't seen it, I have a video that went viral my senior year, squatting like 725. So, um, that kind of strength, that kind of power is what is what my calling card is. So that's something I rely on heavily. My second question is how would your teammates describe you? I like to think they would say I'm just a fun loving guy who loves the game of football. So um, just like with everything else, we spend so much time uh, with our teammates at the facilities and throughout the off season, throughout the regular season that those guys become like brothers. And um, obviously I have yet to meet my new teammates, but I would love to think that we're going to have the same type of relationship. So I'm looking forward to that one for sure. My third question is what excites you about coming to the Vikings? Um, interesting story. I was an undrafted free agent and uh, I kind of looked up to Linval Joseph from afar. I uh, studied his film from my first year on th out through my fourth year. Amazing player. And uh, I stole a lot of things from his game, to be honest. So um, it just the... Uh, the way you guys play defense, the way you guys expect your nose guards to play is something that I tried to emulate in Baltimore and I will continue to try to emulate um, going forward. So just the culture you guys have on defense and just the team, man. Y'all are super, super close to making a run for the Super Bowl and that's just something that I definitely wanted to be a part of and that was important for me was the winning aspect of it. So. My fourth question is, what can fans expect from you on and off the field? So off the field, fans can expect from me to be myself, fun-loving guy. Uh, more importantly, I am big, big, big on community service. So uh, I, would, I can't wait to get into the community, meet you guys, help you guys in any way that I can, and uh, partner with the team and do some good stuff for you know the people around our city. Um, on the field, you can expect me to play with the most heart, the most determination, and just a will to win. So obviously, like I said, I came in as an undrafted guy. So for me, it it really hits differently those Sundays because you just don't take them for granted, you know, especially when you've worked so hard to achieve something uh, that many people don't get to achieve, man. You have to, you really have to value it and you have to play every down like it's your last. And it's, something I take pride in. What's your favorite home activity when you're stuck inside? Very, very, very relevant question, seeing the times that we are in. So um, I like to play my player, play 2K. I'm not competitive online because I don't feel like I'm good enough yet. That's just me being honest. But uh, my player is pretty good. It's not on like the highest skill level, but I'm scoring like 25 a game and I'm getting some rebounds. So. Um, yeah, I'll probably definitely say uh, hopping on 2K and uh, just, just hanging out with the fam for real. Um, my third question, what shows are you watching right now? So right now I'm watching Peaky Blinders, a uh, Netflix-based show. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, I don't want to give too much away, but uh, if you check it out, um, it may start off slow in the first episode or so, but... I definitely got into it and I, I was pretty hooked. So that's something that I enjoy watching. Um, what would your entrance song be if you were in WWE? Interesting thing about me, I am a huge, huge, huge Rick Ross fan. 
So I probably would play the song Big Time off his latest album, Port of Miami 2. So that'll definitely be something that you can come in the ring and they know you mean business for sure. That'll be dope. What is your favorite player? Who is your favorite player growing up? My favorite player growing up was Ray Lewis. And interesting story behind that as well. I was a linebacker in high school. I was six foot 260, but I ran really, really well for my size. So um, that's something that um, was more relevant to me back then. But uh, yeah, now Ray Lewis, I'm sure a lot of people uh, idolized growing up. He was unlike any other man. Uh, what was your favorite TV show growing up? So I grew up a sports junkie, believe it or not. Outside of Nickelodeon, I really only watched ESPN. And uh, I guess that's that's how I learned a lot of different stuff about the game of football, about the history of football. But um, obviously I watched cartoons as a kid, but I would say my favorite TV show is probably ESPN. It may not be normal. I'm aware of that, but it's the truth. All right, so my favorite color and is in its parentheses is purple and it definitely is I, I feel like i look good in purple i obviously play pretty good in purple i'll be in a you know I, i'll throw that gold on there put a little more shine on it but um yeah my favorite color growing up was blue but definitely now uh, especially now it's i can roll with purple for sure um why do they call you the juggernaut so I got the nickname from Terrell Suggs and Lawrence Guy, who was with the Patriots. Um, you know, coming as an undrafted guy, they kind of just throw you out there and see what you can do. And, um, you know, I, I more than held my own. I ran through a couple people and, uh, you know, they kind of just kept, kept it rolling. I think it started off more as a joke, but they liked it. I loved it. And I have a tattoo on my calf to prove it. So that's ingrained for life. That's something I take pride in, in my nickname. Do you have any pets? Personally, no. My family, we have two dogs, though. One is a Shih Tzu and Bichon mix, and we have a Great Dane and Poodle mix. So the Shih Tzu is, her name is Simone, and the Great Dane Poodle mix is, her name's Aspen. Uh, amazing, amazing dogs. I actually look forward to getting a dog. If you weren't a football player, what would you be doing for a career? So prior to me learning that I would get a chance or, or a shot at the NFL, I wanted to go into scouting. So um, I have some family that uh, that scout throughout the NFL and a few uh, a few family members who aspire to do the same thing. So uh, just being around football, being where I'm from, being in a big, big football town and the state of Alabama, um, that's something that I always wanted to do. I always wanted to be around the game. And I feel like I do a pretty good job at that. And I kind of already answered this, but where did you grow up? So I grew up in Mobile, Alabama, the famous home of where Mardi Gras started. Uh, that's factual base. You can check it. Not New Orleans. Um, something more interesting about the Mobile is we always had a senior bowl here. Uh, my pops is on the committee, so I got to meet a lot of cool guys. And that kind of fueled my fire to, you know, be one of those guys one day that could play in the game and, you know, potentially make it to the NFL. So that played a big role in my life. Um, what are your thoughts about having pineapple on pizza? Mm, I don't know. I have to try it. Um, normally, I stick to the, you know, the sausage or the meat lovers themed pizzas, but... I've been adventurous, so this might be a good time for me to try that out. I'll, I'll get back to y'all on that one. What song do you sing when you're washing your hands? Hmm, that's a good one. I, I love jazz music, so it's more of a melody versus uh, versus the actual song. Um, I know during this coronavirus thing, they tell you to sing happy birthday twice, and that lets you know 20 seconds has gone by, so... I'll stick with the approved version and roll it down. It's been a pleasure. I can't wait to meet you guys. Can't wait to get entrenched in the community. And more importantly, I can't wait to get some dubs with the Viking crew. Skull, go Vikings.